In this video, we are going to see how to share Facebook page post to Telegram channel. So let's say that every time there is a new post on your Facebook page, then you want that same post to be shared or reflected on your Telegram group. So how can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here your trigger application will be Facebook pages and your action application will be Telegram. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pavli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And as we do that here, we have reached a dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. A dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is that every time a post is posted on my Facebook page, then it should automatically be shared on my Telegram channel. So I'm going to click on create. And as I do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here would be Facebook page. So let's click on this. Now the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run and here it would be new post. Now on the right hand side, you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. This basically means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So the workflow is going to run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. Now I'm going to click on connect and as I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Facebook pages account. Let's click on add new connection. Connect with Facebook pages here. It is asking me to choose the account. So let's continue as my previous account. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done here, we have to select the page and the number of posts. First, let me take you to my Facebook account. I have already logged in. So this is the main page of my Facebook account. And here I have created a few pages like these. These are the pages that I already have created. Now, let's say that I want to work on online class page. So I'm going to switch to online class now. Let's click on switch. As I do that here, you can see this is the page for online class and now I am going to post. So let's say sample paper solutions are out. Please check our website. Okay, let's say that this is the post and now I'm just going to click on post. Not now. And here you can see that it has been posted on my page. Now, what is my objective? My objective is that this post should be posted on Telegram as well. Now, I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. So, first of all, here I'm going to select the page which is online class. Here it is. And now the number of posts. So, let's say that I want maximum two posts every time the workflow runs. Okay, so I have selected two. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. As I do that, here you can see we have received the API response. And as I take you down here, you can see, first of all, the privacy description is public. And this is the message that has been posted. And as I take you down, this is the name of the page. So once we have received this information, I want to post this on Telegram. So I'm going to choose my action application as Telegram port. The action event here would be to send a text message or a reply HTML. Let's click on connect. Usually we go for HTML. Why? Because if suppose I had selected markdown, then I would have to format everything that had been written. Why? Because it has to be formatted uh, into the correct markdown format. So it is safe to go ahead with the HTML format. Now here again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with Telegram bot account. I'm going to click on add new connection now here we have to enter the token how can we find this token for this first of all we have to go to our telegram web account so here it is 
and once you're here you have to go to bot father here we have to type slash new bot this is it as soon as we do that it is saying all right a new bot how are we going to call it please choose a name for your bot so i'm going to call it information center so as i do that here it is saying good now let's choose a username for your bot so i'm going to write new information center one two three remember that the name of the bot must end with underscore bot so i'm going to write underscore bot let's see if we have something yes here it is saying congratulations on your new bot you will find it at this particular link now the token that we need for the connection is here so i'm going to copy this okay go back to public connect and paste this over here let's click on save to set up this connection so here we can see that telegram and public connect are now connected here we need the chat id how can we find this chat id to understand this let me take you back to telegram now what we have to do is we have created a new bot i'm going to click on this link so that i can reach this bot click on start so that you can find it here in your chat so information center has become a part of your chat now here i'm going to create a new group where the board that you have recently created has to be there so i'm going to look for information center so this is selected now let's look for pably okay so here it is pably and ld so i'm selecting this and now also demo let's see if we have someone with the name okay so we have these three so i've selected them and now i'm going to name my group so the name of my group is new group I see one two three okay so as soon as I do that now what you have to do is you have to go to your group here you can see these are the members now information center is the board that you have recently created you have to make this your admin how can you do that for this you will have to go to your phone and you can simply go to the board that you have created click on it and promote it to admin so let me do the same so here you can see that information center has been submitted to admin so once this is done i'm going to close this and here can you see this number so this is your chat id i'm going to copy this go back to pably connect and paste this chat id over here once done now what is the message that i want to post on telegram for this i'm going to map the information how do i do that so as i click on this it is showing me the previous step and as i scroll down this is the message that i want to be shared on my telegram group now the process with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration had i written this manually so even when my workflow was running for the nth time with new information it would have never taken the new information and was stuck with the manually written data to avoid this mapping is important now do you want to disable notifications so i'm selecting no do you want to disable link previews i'm selecting no and now let's click on save and send test request so as we do that here we have received the api response according to which now this information must become a part of my telegram group let's go and check the same and yes here you can see that sample paper solutions is out please check our website this message has been posted on the group this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to go back to my facebook page and here i'm going to post something else so i'm going to post a quote quote for the day okay and uh, what is the quote the quote is happiness is a choice okay so let's click on post as i do that it is getting posted and as soon as it gets posted here what should happen automatically it should get posted on my telegram group but we are supposed to wait for 10 minutes why because here you can see that our trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes so now i'm going to wait for 10 minutes so that our integration can be checked so it's been some time and now i'm going to take you back to our telegram group and yes here you can see that this has been posted quote for the day happiness is a choice this means that our integration is a success now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application was facebook pages where the event was new post and our action application was telegram board where the event was to send a text message or a reply html 
I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.